Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Fatima. And I finally started my YouTube channel. Yay! Guys, this has been so long overdue and I'm so sorry. I've been procrastinating for so long. I know I promised you guys so long ago that I was going to start, but I'm finally here to start. So first and foremost, I just want to thank everyone who continues to support me and encourage me to start my channel. People have faith in me. I love y'all. So if you know me, you know I'm forever on YouTube. Like, I'm on YouTube 24-7, literally. I've watched so many videos. I constantly watch people on YouTube and I'm like, if they could do this, I could do this. Like, there's shy people on YouTube that express their personality. And I'm not shy. I'm shy, but I'm not shy. If you don't know me, I don't really, you know... Cause I, I'm an observer. If I know you on social media and I see you in person, I'm very open like, hey girl, what's up? <laughs> so I've always wanted to start my YouTube channel to like create a platform for myself to have fun on and basically grow as I become a better me. And when I look back, I'm be like, Fatima, why was you so ratchet? <laughs> so yeah, basically guys, Today's video is going to be an ethnicity tag. I picked this tag because I love my culture. Um, I love where I come from. And what better way to start off my channel than to introduce where I come from. And I've also picked this tag because I barely see enough people where I come from on YouTube. And yeah, I think I think it'll be fun. So if you're interested in learning where I come from and all that jazz, stay tuned and let's get right into the video. So the first question is, where are you from? Um, I've gotten Trini from a Trini lady. She said that I look and sound Trini, which is weird. I've gotten a lot of Caribbean countries, Jamaican, Guyanese. Um, I've gotten Ethiopian and Somalian, which I don't agree with. They are beautiful, but I don't, I don't know if I look like them. I don't know. I've gotten Senegalese the most. Oh gosh, y'all are beautiful, but I, I, I'm not Senegalese. <laughs> Guys, I am Malian. Malian, I'm from Mali. Disclaimer, I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> Brooklyn. We're Brooklyn! We're Brooklyn! The second question is, when was the last time you've been to your country? Um, I've been there only one time, and that was in 2008. I had a blast, guys. I had a blast. And every year after that, I've tried to go, and it has been an epic fail. It's either I'm working, I'm going to school, or I'm having a baby. <laughs> the third question is, what part of the country does your family come from? Um, I don't think I mentioned that my mother is from Cote d'Ivoire, so I'm going to start with that. They're from Boaké, and she has family in Abidjan, too. So my mom's father and mom was born in Mali. But everyone else in their family was born in Cote d'Ivoire. So my mother was born in Cote d'Ivoire, her siblings, all of them, and they all live there now. Basically, she's Malian because her mother and father are from Mali. I don't know much about my mother's side, but my father's side, their village is Barawili. But my father was born and raised in Bamako, Mali. And their neighborhood is Misira. And my father has a house in Sirakoro. So yeah, that's where we were. And Sirakoro was so whack back then. I don't know how it is now. And Misira was lit. And you know, I'm a Lafayette resident now because my husband is from Lafayette. <laughs> the next question is, what is your cultural name? Everyone knows me by Fatima, but my cultural name is Fatumetu Fatim Ture. I know it's not Fatmata. It's the same name, basically. And if you call me Fatumetu, you don't know me. <laughs> you don't know me. It's either you don't know me or you, you just met me and read my name off or something. You don't know me. The next question is, what tribe are you from? So basically... We were Suraka, but my ancestors migrated with the Maraka people, so we're fake Maraka. And everyone swears I'm Koroboro because of my last name today, which I'm not. Sorry, guys. Nah. The next question is, name one ethnic food that you enjoy the most. I'm going to start with Cote d'Ivoire because y'all know I love my chicken and jege. I don't play. I don't play. And if you've ever been to Cote d'Ivoire, you know that it does not compare to here. You just can't compare the taste. It's just phenomenal. I encourage you all to visit Cote d'Ivoire one day because... I can eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I kid you not. Now, on the Malian side, I love my saka saka. I love my gana. I love my tegere gana. I love my... <laughs> I love my naji. I hate fagwe. I love my to. I love my bashi. Yo, guys. I'm fat. The next question is name one household item that represents your household. Guys, I'm going with Usula. If you're African, you know what this is. Mm, this smells good. It's not even open. Yes. I kid you not the girls in Lehman I'm talking about the Gambian people like gosh they drench they soap in this because they smell like it so much I'm not throwing shots or anything but damn it'd be overwhelming the next question is my favorite question 
<laughs> do you speak your language guys a fully kagele then i got on take my family i'm a fully kagele I was born in America, guys. It's not easy speaking Bambara here. My father was telling me stories how when I was younger, I used to speak it so fluently, and then I went to school, and the teachers were complaining, like, speak English to your child. And first and foremost, I hate my accent. Secondly, I can't hold a full conversation with you. Like, I'm gonna try my best. I understand it. You just take an echo for that, but it's my family. Man, I feel like I'm getting <laughs> I'm in the brouille, you know. I also saw that video of the little white girl that came from France to Bamako talking about her last name was Traore. Man was like, Who taught you Bambara? She was like, yeah, I was like, No, she speaks better Bambara than me. Like, what's going on, Fatima? Get your life together. But yeah, guys, that's what it is. The next question is, What is your favorite ethnic music? I listen to the classical music, you know, and I listen to the modern music. I love my Ami Kweta, I love my Kanjai Kuyate, I love my Salif Keita, I love my Bamani Kone. I love Tumani Jabate when he played the chorus. Just sitting down and listening to it, it's just so soothing. I love it. And y'all know I love my Siriki Jabate. I don't play, okay? <laughs> That's my nigga. I love my Fati Kuyate. I love my Astunyame. I like a lot of people. Safi Jabate. I love her sister Dogomani. That's my Jalimso right there. What song reminds you of your country? I don't know. I guess whenever I hear the quota, I think about Mali because that's my favorite instrument. So if, if I hear the quota, I, I, I think about Mali. Maybe Seya by Umusare when Jennifer Sek be like, you know, that one. I like that one too. That reminds me of Mali. The next question is, what do you hate most about your country? I absolutely hate Mali Sampere. Mali Sampere. <laughs> it makes you promise stuff to God that you know you're not gonna keep your promise, but you just want him to stop. You just want him to stop it right then and there. Like, it's so bad. Another thing that I hate is when it floods. When we were there, the we were in a car and the, the water came up to our knees. You can see furniture floating away. It's just so many personal belongings floating away and it was bad. And you can't wear no good shoes when it floods or when it rains because your shoes are gonna get destroyed so that's that's two things i hate the final question is what do you love most about your beloved country i love the language oh my gosh i wish i could speak bambara so fluently because i love malian women when they when they speak with a land it's so cute <laughs> i'm like oh i wish i could do that another thing i love is the culture of course and i love the respect like you can get into a sotrama and People will greet you. It don't matter what time of the day it is. But it's not like in New York where you greet somebody and they be like, they be looking at you like, grilling you up and down. Like, what is your problem? Like, people are rude out here. I feel like in a lot of countries, it's way different. We have respect. But in America, I don't know. I'm not gonna even say America because I've been to places in America where people are really, really nice and respectful. But New York, forget about it. All right, guys, that wraps up my ethnicity tag. If you enjoyed, make sure you like and comment down below. And tell me where you're from. I would like to know where you guys are from. And if you are Malian, what's up? I bet you. <laughs> if you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you don't miss any uploads from your girl, team. Team, team, la star. <laughs> Let me stop. I'm so annoying. All right, guys, I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye. Je vois de ma mère